So now that we've covered a little bit more of the basics, that is, how to control the interpretation, the 3D interpretation on the laser, let's have a little bit more fun with it. Come over here, say File New, just to create a new scene, and I'll say Laser Output, because I want my new scene to be output to the laser. And we'll cover some of these objects and, and how they can be used and how they, they're handy. Oftentimes, when I create a little 3D scene, what I'll do is I'll put a floor down, like this plane. This is just a simple flat plane that you can use as a floor. But by default, it's pretty uninteresting because it's just like a square. So what we'll want to do is add some width segments to that. You start to see it in this view here, and some height segments. And now what we can do is on the laser, we can say that we want to see all the object edges. So now it's like we've got a grid. Click over here onto this resize tool and make that grid bigger. And so now we've got a nice floor. I'll just make that grid green. And as we add some objects to that now, maybe make this a bit smaller. Move it over here a little bit. Red. Maybe we'll add a tube to it. Move around a little bit so I can get there. Make this a little bit smaller. And maybe make this blue. And we'll move this up a little bit more. So you can see that, again, it's just, it's just to, to really get into that 3D to where we can really get into creating a real 3D scene that has a floor and some objects on it and so forth. Once again, to send this to the main Beyond program, we click here to turn it into laser frames. And since this only has one frame, if we wanted to, we can come over here and say, instead of the end frame 100, we could just say 1, and then send it to the queue. When, it, when we minimize this, there's our little 3D scene that we just created. So I'll just once again, right-click, say Create, New 3D Animation. Beyond 3D comes right back up. I'm going to say File, New, Enable Laser Output go through some of these other objects for you. Obviously a pyramid. Here's our little undo tool which I will make use of during this demonstration. Cylinder, tube, and how you control these things is if we come over here into tube one of the things that you'll see is this controls the top radius this controls the inner portion of the hole. This controls the bottom. And so, it's, so we can not only create a simple tube, but, but we can create kind of a nozzle looking thing. If we flip this around, you can see that we can create kind of a, a nozzle like we're creating a rocket from a spacecraft. This might be a neat object to use for that. Pretty easy way of doing that. And as you can see, we have many levels of undo. A capsule is just sort of like a rounded sphere. Could be handy for some things. Oil tank, it's sort of like a, again, kind of a rounded sphere. It has, has rounded top and bottom to it. Probably not used very much in laser. Regular old sphere, this is used really quite a bit. And you can control the parameters of the sphere here, how many edges it has. And on the laser, you can do pretty cool stuff. If we say object edges, you can make, make this have only a few edges, like this, and make it look not really all that spherical, but pretty interesting instead.
In here in the list, if you right click, you also have a menu. And what I'm going to make use of in this case is simply delete torus. So this is kind of like a donut object. And you can control exactly how many segments the torus has here, how big it is here, and so forth. So this is kind of how you can create a donut. You can create a flat disk with this. Just create, control the size of this. On the laser, we could say we want to see all the object edges. And it could create kind of a neat shape to it. This ring wave we'll cover in an advanced topic. This hedra is actually a really fun tool. I'll click on this one and just show it to you. The hedra is a 3D polygonal object. Uh, and this controls the type of hedra that you get. We have several that's built in. A tetrahedra, what that means is it's a 3D object that has four sides to it. As I move around on this, you'll see that this has only four sides. An octahedra has eight sides. A dodecahedra, what that means is 12. Dodec is 12. So this has 12 sides, 12 pentagons. And a couple of stars that are built right into this.